Hello Techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with create random text test action. First of all, we'll see the real time scenario where we are going to use create random text. The best example for create random text is nothing but CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA is a program that protects websites from frauds. All right. If you see over here, I'm having a banking sector over here, which I have opened online SBI. If you see any banking sector, mostly we are having the capture. If you see over here, I'm having a capture with some of the capture, image capture, audio capture that we have. How it is going to be generated? It is a kind of randomly generated text over here that will be generated by one of the website that is the official website by the capture. This kind of random text we want to create it by using Power Automate. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me switch to Power Automate. Now what I will do, I will drag and drop this create random text onto the workspace. What is the main purpose of this create random text text action? It generates a text of specified length consisting of random characters. That random characters can have uppercase letters, lowercase letters, digits, symbols, and many more. This is mainly used to generate the capture or to generate the passwords. All right. Now what I will do by using this random text action, I will generate the numbers based on the specific criteria. If you see the parameters over here in the create in the random text, I want to use uppercase or not. If you see over here, it has been enabled. If you don't want to enable this, let me show you one more time the example in the online SBI. If you see over here, I'm having only lowercase and after that I'm having numbers. I don't have any special characters over here in this capture, right? In the same way, I'm going to use lower cases over here. You can see A to Z with a small case. And then I'm going to use digits and then I'm not going to use any kind of symbols over here. So that what I will do, I can I can make it false over here so that the random text will be generated based on the lower case as well as the digits. All right. Now, if you see, I'm having two more parameters over here that is minimum length and maximum length. Now, I want the minimum length. You can see over here, the minimum length is by default is six. If you want to set the minimum length over here, let us assume I want three, you can go ahead and you can set three and the maximum length you can set up to 10. So as of now, by default, it is six, minimum length is six, and the maximum length is 10. All right, now what are the random text has been generated? It will be stored in the variable produce that is random text, that is flow variable will be generated. All right, let's click on save. Now to display the output, what kind of random text I'm going to get it, so that to display that, I will use display message on the workspace. Now I will give the title as random text, now, after generating where it will be stored in the flow variable that is random text. Let me select that and then click on save. Now, to see the output, let's run the flow. Flow execution started and you can see the output over here that I have given maximum 10 characters, right? So that the output has been maximized to 10 characters over here. And if you observe closely, I'm having only lower case as well as digits only over here in my random text. All right, let me click on OK. Now what I will do, I will make some more changes over here. I will make it as uppercase and then use, uh, use lowercase. I'm not going to give it. If you want all the types of options, you can select all also. OK, now I'm going to make the capture minimum is two and the maximum is five. All right, let me click on save and let's run the flow. Now, if you see in my output, I'm having only capital letters, that is uppercase characters that we have, all right? Now, if we are going to generate one more time without changing any values over there, what will happen? It will generate or it will create random text. If you see right now, the minimum is two I have given so that you know it has been generated random text as C1. If I go on, if I'm going to run the flow, what will happen? It generate n number of 
text over here, random text values, it will be generated based on the requirement or based on the inputs which I have given in the create random text over here. All right. Now I will show you one more example over here. Use symbols. Now I'm having special characters over here so that in my uh, random text, I need to get the values with the special characters also. All right. Let me click on save. Let's run the flow. Now, if you see in the output that I have plus symbol over there, along with that, that I'm having uppercase characters that we got it. And if you can see the minimum length of the random text is two, that's the reason you got only two values. And you can maximize up to five letters that based on our maximum length. All right, let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to work with create random text as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.